Alright, I'm going to show you how to open the awning step by step. Uh, make this as simple as possible, okay? You're going to start off by loosening this knob on the inside. A couple of turns, not too much. It can fall out. You're going to do that on both arms. You're then going to want to release the inner arm on both arms. Uh, usually it's a clip of some sort. Uh, sometimes you have two black clips that you're going to press on either side releasing that inner arm. The reason you want to do that is because they're going to separate from each other at some point. You grab the awning rod. Usually there's a lever at the front and top of the awning itself. You're going to pull down. Grab a hold of the strap. all the way down. If one of the arms stays stuck up and it starts coming out sideways, you can kind of assist it down. Uh, once it's all the way down, you're going to want to slide this inner arm all the way up until it clicks. Okay, you're going to do that on both sides. Once that inner arm is all the way up, you're going to pull down on this arm that creates tension in the canvas and you're going to tighten the center knob. Pull down, apply some pressure, tighten the inner knob. Again, you have tension on the canvas, it's going to keep it from flopping around. And lastly, with this handle or lever down here, you can uh, lift up. When you release it, it should lock in place. You can adjust the height of the awning. That's it. If it starts to rain on you, it's uh, ideal to lower one side so that it, the water doesn't collect and cause it to collapse. Uh, in this case, the water would run off to the front, okay? Now, in order to close the awning, uh, you're going to go ahead and lower it all the way back down. You're going to loosen the knob up here on both sides. Usually there's some kind of release underneath the arm here. You're going to pull down and that's going to allow you to slide this arm all the way back down. Once you've done that, you're going to locate the strap, slide it all the way back to the front, and we're back to this lever here. Uh, the idea is to flip it back down. Now there's a lot of tension on it, so you can't just flip it. You're going to have to pull down on the strap and leave some tension on that strap. Flip the lever forward. Keep that tension on the strap. You don't want to let go or the awning's going to shoot back up towards the vehicle. I'm just walking it back towards the center. And I'm going to ease the strap up. I relocated it in the center so that the next time I decide to operate the awning, it'll come out evenly on both sides. Make sure you have the awning rod nearby. Kind of ease it up. You're going to want to squeeze the inner arm away from the vehicle so that you can clip the arm and then re secure these knobs. Squeeze the inner arm away from the vehicle so you can clip it or so that the two black clips that we talked about earlier will, will clip in place and secure that inner arm and then go ahead and tighten this knob lastly and you're good to go. Thank you.